be insane but I need to change title as well for me also they might need me to do the wheel because I think avant car is done right let's see anyway ah uh, nobody expects the ring of oblivion yeah <laughs> holy shit dude I would have never seen it coming as well. Like, look at DJ. He's so relieved right now. <laughs> He's so relieved right now. Ring of Oblivion is the most influential item in the game. I mean, I guess when you don't want it, it kills everything. And when you do want it, it's randomly winning you the game. You got a spin now? Alright. Um, Mr. Streamers, translate please. Do I look like I can translate anything here? Spin to win, baby. Um, here. Thought you had a shower? I, I, I do have a shower. <laughs> Okay, we have a Elmore? Yovashius. Yovashius! Damn! Damn! Now that's a random hero to have right there. <laughs> <Brooks looks sigh>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did, yeah. Where is my... Hello? Where is writing? <laughs> Question mark. Yovashius versus Ksai, let's see. <laughs> Hope they know they can re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> this is stone skin learning. <laughs> <laughs> Stone skin learning versus your bashes. Oh my god. Glue wanted only one more turn for ring of life and shoes plus two and no money for the Freddy's. I see. I mean, why did he attack then? He could have just stayed in his town, right? In the desert town or something. Pick those up and then defend the siege. In like his bunker town. Learning glue, let's go. Um, should I tell them they can reroll? By the way, I think they know by now, right? Translate better than Kira must have fun. What? I mean, I don't understand what they're saying. Wait, they're actually playing this. <laughs> they're actually playing this, <laughs> bruh. I mean, uh, DJ was was telling me earlier, like yesterday, right, and today as well that. You can re-roll, you can do this and this and this, right? So I think he knows the rules. I'm pretty sure he knows the rules because he was telling me the rules. DJ is saying that you have to have a lot of fun watching this game. <laughs> Honestly, this might have been the best series I've casted so far. Like, we've seen a miracle happen in, glue, in, 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 in game one for glue, right? Then in the game two, we actually had an actual Ring of Oblivion winning a game. This, these are like once in a lifetime opportunities. <laughs> these are once in a lifetime opportunities here. <laughs> I mean, this has to be a 10k trade, right? They're not, they're not crazy. How you play this willingly? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just ask um, 95. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Clone overrated. Long have we waited. Xi activated. <laughs> Petition for tournament to be renamed Game of Throws. The Game of Oblivions right here. Maybe you can remind them that they can reroll this. I mean, I, I'll do it just to be nice, right? You could have rerolled. 
for 500 gold a pair, by the way. If you didn't know. Um, rename it Road to Oblivion. <laughs> uh, okay, so they both know it's fine. So they actually want to play you, Vicious versus Ksai. There's <laughs> literally like zero fucks given here. <laughs> okay, 8.3. We're, we're getting closer to the 10k trades here. We're getting closer to the 10k trades here. The land of doom and brokenness. <laughs> Necro is in, by, by the way. I mean, Necro genuinely doesn't need a good hero here. Like, genuinely don't need a good hero for Necro if you get the vampire box. If you get a vampire box, you win the game. With Xai, it could happen. But your Vashius also doesn't really need any gold, right? He, he gets a bird box with 50 ocean hits and he wins the game again. Last 10k trade was too painful to watch. I mean, I guess the Necro can high roll and win. Uh, yeah, kinda. Not surprised Glue wants to play this. If he went conflux with Necromancy against you. <laughs> Yeah, the Turbo Tuna with Estates, Tactics, and Necromancy. You can double build vampires and take buildings. Yeah. It gives plus three more defense for vampires with stone skin. <laughs> what more do you want? <laughs> the run the win gave him confidence. 8.5k. And he pluses. Wow. Wait, this is a Yovash. This is a rich Yovashus right there. Dulfi, Dulfi died inside a little bit just now. <laughs> Dulfi would have gone 9k here even without Xai. He would have gone in 9k versus with Domina probably. This is cheap as fuck, yeah. Um 112 euro. Thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome. And DJ picks Xai. Imagine. The Giga Flex, yeah. DJ actually gets even more money, betting for color. Well, glue up. Wait, really? 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 Who are the ladies? I don't know. Glue's doing pretty well, apparently. I. You pass on 300, you give red your Vashes as well? What? Why? Why not go 9k for town then? Glue sponsored by some TV shite, yeah. Uh, I mean, honestly, DJ kind of won the trade here by by a lot, I'd say even. He gets a radio Vashus and he has like 1.2k gold to work with even. Damn, good for him. I don't think he'll go for the gold mine deploy yet, ever, but at least he can build like a mage guild early or something. What gender is Sai? Um, dead. <laughs> He's the dead kind. She's a lady, yeah. His chat goes apeshit when it appears chanting virus, 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 virus? I don't know. Shame on you, Kira. <laughs> Maybe Glue just wanted him to have a little gold, yeah. Okay, game three starting up for an amazing series here. Let's go. I'm hyped. This time around, I do not cheer for either one of them. May the best, may the best player win. Zero mercy. Roto Oblivion Turbo. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> this is a vampire dwelling already. It's kind of nice. Inferno Midul. Can we have like a 2 for 2 fight, please? <laughs> please. Give us Casino. Uh, sure. Can end the last one. Outcome. Wait, who won last one? DJ won last one, right? Alright, you all have predictions. Let's go. 242 glue comes in with 5,000 skeletons. In this particular game, it uh, has made the luckiest player win, right? Yeah. 
Xai break before 133. I mean, you don't need a hero to break before 133 as Necro. You just need one vamp box. That's it. Whenever you find it, you can break. All right, fortress side. Um, that's Necro biome. Middle is unknown, I think. Multiple bird dwellings for uh, DJ on the road there. That's amazing for him. Okay, blue one one once a comfy side town here actually. Interesting. He one one once the proper corner. That's kind of odd. So, uh, both 1 1 1s were used, I'm pretty sure, at this point, right? Because this is biome number 3. This is what they're gonna play. Glue's going for what seems to be a sawmill right now. He's keeping the eye. I don't like that too much. I think the eye is amazing to have. He sees the gold mine diplo, though. But he's kind of stuck there. He's kind of stuck there. He didn't get DD, right? Wait, what scroll did he get? He wants to go back, so I'm assuming he didn't get on portal. Is DD? Okay, but that means he can't use it from there, so yeah, he has to go back. That's a very dead turn for him, though. That's not good at all. I guess he can go into well into this and then comes back maybe with a town portal next turn. He's a lot of knowledge here, which is pretty good. But yeah, that's two dead turns now. And he could have pathed here. Ah, if he checked this now, it's kind of bad. He lost the day there for no reason. Anyway, DJ. Wait, how the fuck did he get an ocean in? He actually managed to pick the Diplo with 1k gold. What a mad lad. <laughs> how? <laughs> huh? On day two? How cheap are the ocean is, dude? That's amazing. <laughs> it's over, GG. Yeah, he has 100 ocean, it's already. Damn. Five knowledge, your vashes. Easy. He picked the eye as well, so he sees around two. Um, we have a neutral side zone again. I didn't see what middle was. I think that's the necro town, so he does end up skipping it. He sees a bird dwelling as soon as he leaves. That's amazing for him to be picked up this early. I would love for him to do to pick it up here though. He doesn't. Eh, really? I don't think you should ever skip that bird dwelling there. Ah, okay. He goes for the necro side town still. Gets clone, Kappa. <laughs> yeah, that clone is definitely gonna come in handy. <laughs> Nice shrine, 10 out of 10. What's for a mage guild too? Not sure why he picked up the well then. Wait, what? Why did he go for the well then? <laughs> What's the point of the well? Um, Gluta skipped the cove town in the corner here. I'm not a big fan of that because that's less marketplaces later on. He does get the white's deep low. Raves Diplo actually. Because I put a plus one all RT, that's decent on the road here for him. So he could DD. I think he could have just walked into the town and picked up the bird dwelling. That's the thing. It was gonna be better for him. He does get it now though. And he does get to DD this turn as well, which is good. Uh, no! What are you doing? Why? DJ! DJ, DJ, he has a clone, I don't think he dies, but DJ, he literally random DD'd into something in a fight, like he even looked for it for like 5 seconds there. He needs to clone the big stack, okay, he does. I mean, he kills most of the stacks, yeah, it's fine, he's okay. <coughs> it's all good. Well, all good. He loses a lot of army here. At least he makes himself fast, Cap. <laughs> At least now you're fast. Are you proud of yourself? I remember a certain Romanian stream blind DD and <laughs> getting stuck. <laughs> yes. Not in a tournament game, though. I don't do that in tournaments. <laughs> Ratatatata, you're dead. Okay, he survives. He gets a Corsair box. That's amazing. <laughs> Still, I uh, might find a nice Dragon Father early here. That'd be nice. <laughs> picks that up, picks the town up. 
gets Earth Magic because he's a god gamer. Oh my god, with this low gold, he gets Earth Magic. Okay, I, I actually think this might be GG already for Glue. Holy shit, this is Turbo Star for DJ here. Was that a huge risk? No, yeah, that was one of the worst risks you could ever do. He didn't take water, it's okay, it's too fast. Um, take water? I mean, I don't know. He wants to get earth and air leveled up right now anyway. He doesn't care about the water magic there. As soon as you have basic, it's already good enough. Are you casting people with bigger bedrooms? Well, Glue definitely has a bigger bedroom, but I don't know about DJ. He has a wall behind him. <laughs> um, okay, so Glue's going for the comfy town right now. He does end up picking a treasury. How was this day, Mr. Streamer? Today was amazing so far. <laughs> but uh, thank you for the 200 bits. Thank you. Much appreciated. But yeah, we're having some amazing games being played here. I'm very happy to be casting this. Honestly, one of the best series I've casted so far. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, Glue actually has Earth Magic already. That was 4 spell power for the shield and stone skin. That's pretty good for him. A blind idea was something I would do, but then lose the fight, god game. Not molding and did not open booze yet, so I would rate it 10 out of 10. That's always the case, yeah. <laughs> okay, so he's still going for the comfy town. I mean, I would assume he wants to get air magic. He didn't roll into it, so yeah, makes sense. This is another skelly box there, probably at least. Pretty good. Meanwhile, okay, so we see a... What's middle? I can't tell. But we see a dungeon side biome there, so... Something. Dude, DJ's army on 1 to 1 is gonna be nuts though. He has 10 knowledge as well. He found the helmet, I guess, somewhere. And he gets air magic. Oh my god, stop. Stop it. Why? <laughs> and the meteor shower from... Huh? If he loses this game, I swear to god. <laughs> he can't lose this game. It's, it's not possible anymore. He has a perfect skill tree on 1 to 1 with 0 gold here. Goes into the comfy town, makes fast. He has like a lot of pirate dwellings even. He could go for Corsair. There's actually three pirate dwellings here next to each other. He might not be able to build the mage guild there, which is unfortunate, but... That's average DJ's cove, yeah. There's no way he builds this mage guild, so he just has to take this here. There's so many amazing boxes next to it too. Paid biome. <laughs> Perfect start with one mistake, the deep blind, yeah, basically. Um, not quite sure why we're doing this fight though. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> like why? What for? Uh, it's minus a lot of Corsairs here, it's kind of sad. Ow. DJ, please, focus. <laughs> focus, DJ, focus. You have one job, just don't throw. He looks like Tyrion uh, Lannister, adult size. <laughs> eh, not really. Tyrion didn't have a beard, come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that fight was really worth. I mean, he gets a pirate box for a bunch of Corsairs and Oceanids. Likely it's worth really. Cannot really do anything this turn either. Just basic earth, basic air. Goes back. I mean, at least he can mage guild here now. I don't really think it matters too much. Need chains up. Yeah. The thing is, he has no power yet, so <clears throat> the meteor shower doesn't really do anything for him. The necklace of sweetness is kind of nice. Like, why are we doing the hardest fights in the biome when you can just come back to them two days later with an expert DD, expert air, though? I don't get it. 
I switch to glue. I mean, glue right now is going for town, so guess we can watch him for a while too. Sure. VJ is kind of, kind of doing questionable things. Glue does have 18 vamp lords, so he double built with a citadel. I would assume. Sees the water elemental box there. That's actually very likely the vamp box, which is amazing for him. That observatory does help a lot right now. But he will need to go back for the army to go for the water elemental box. Because I don't think he's going to do it on 18 vamps alone. I accidentally added another zero I didn't want. <laughs> um, okay, so DJ is still in the same fight. He did it pretty well. He barely lost anything. He lost some Corsairs again, I guess. But okay. Gets advanced turf. Gets another pirate box. I... He needs to get these dwellings, though. Like, he actually needs to get dwellings and upgrade the pirates here. This is insanely strong, by the way, already. He could have a hundred, a hundred Corsairs or Sea Dogs here immediately, and you break easily, easily anything with that. <laughs> actually blocked the stack from coming in. <laughs> we just picked Air and Earth. I mean, he went for the Conflux town anyway, so he most likely has it by now. No reason not to have it, really. Okay, grabs Expert Earth even. Another one. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a hundred. <laughs> this reminds me of a fucking biome I played against. Early. Wait, who was it? Was it Dulfi? It was Dulfi, right? When he had 200 sea dogs on like 1 to 7. Jesus Christ. There's so many boxes in this cove biome though. Holy shit. And meanwhile, Glue's still waiting. <coughs> okay, he does have earth. He does have earth. He's going for two treasuries right now, I guess. Or not. I guess he's going for the sword into the Manticore box, I suppose. Yeah. This is whites, wraiths, all right. I was about to say it's not too many and it's not uh, it's not upgraded either, right? So it doesn't make any sense. I do think he can probably do the water elemental box now. He has expert air as well. So we might see a one to six break from glue. Um, he didn't buy the university, by the way. He's just a god gamer himself and also rolled earth and air. Just like DJ did. Meanwhile, DJ is still doing questionable fights. <laughs> Why are we throwing out the entire army? <laughs> For, like... <coughs> it's Dragon Bone too. I mean, anything that gives him spell power right now is really good for him, to be honest. That was a good result, but I guess he can do better just by cloning the pirates. Can easily clone now. Doesn't even want to, I guess. Whatever. He does it anyway and kills. I mean, everywhere he goes, everywhere he looks, it's just boxes and boxes and boxes. And look at this army. Getting bigger and bigger. He doesn't have expert air yet, I think, which is somewhat unfortunate for him. <laughs> he finds more boxes. He doesn't care. <laughs> Expert air who? Like, what? Uh, loses 100 ocean is there. Oh, well. Kind of unfortunate, I guess. <coughs> he should have just taken a retail with this. Yeah. I mean, the morale there kind of sucked. He would have lost a lot less. Loses a lot of Oceanies now. He doesn't pick. Yeah, I would have said there. Gets a Sea Witch box. That's pretty amazing. Then goes into another one. Can he get out here though? I don't know if he has moves for that. So I think a clone is going to be... Actually, no. He didn't have enough mana for a clone. Um, This could be a bird box though. That would be really good for him. I mean, honestly, this army for Yovashus easily breaks next turn here. 
or in two turns and I guess he has to stay here uh, yeah, he chooses not to I mean if he had a good well it would make sense I don't know if he does or not but it's risky to stay like that just for a box it could have been birds maybe but mm. there was a shield as well honestly it could have been pirates or birds so it was good either way I guess did you break into desert before glue by accidentally DDing into desert print? Um, glue did find his vamp box. He has a pretty insane army, to be honest. I don't think he breaks on this army, though, ever. This is a cav break. Nah, but you don't break without upgrading them vamps, which kind of sucks for him. Didn't pick up the library either. Is the opponent being kind of turbo? sure what he's looking for I do think that glue is most likely gonna break next turn doesn't make sense to wait more here I mean it's either next turn or 131 he does need to upgrade all the vamps what is he doing is he trying to scout the break I guess that's what he's doing right now or picks a shrine and goes back yeah, he's trying to scout the break, but I don't think he'll reach that far. He doesn't have scouting, sadly. Yeah, he doesn't see that far. Eh, I mean, that was kind of wasted. I actually think by upgrading the vamps and sitting in the conflux town, he was going to be a lot better off. Also, he went to the wrong town right now because he's not going to be able to pick up anything here. It's 126, not 127. One thing I admire about Glue is how he manages to keep the skeletons alive. No, functioning. <laughs> That's a vamps on vamps. Uh, I don't know what's behind the box. It could be more things there, but potentially, yeah, could be another vamp box. No, he has the vamp box. He has 20 vamps in his army. Agent. Feels a little bit indecisive right now. I don't think he just needs to go break, right? That's all. Okay. Sure. Uh, DJ did find his library and finds a. Ooh. I don't think he stays for that though. Well, then again, he has enough mana. I don't like the fact that we still see pirates here and not corsairs at least in like one stack. He skipped dwellings too. Like he's not gonna be able to break next turn just because he didn't upgrade. The anti-snipe system kicked in. <laughs> mm. I mean, even if he breaks on 132 with this army, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, he ends up staying here. No way he can upgrade. There's no way he can upgrade to Sea Dogs, but upgrading here to Corsairs is definitely possible. Then again, with the Gladius, he might actually do enough damage. To break on clones here. With like 100 pirates. Because 20 attack of Ash is going to do some mad amounts of damage here. Yep, 19 attack of Ash is... Ooh. Wait, he's not going for a hill fort, right? Bro. <laughs> Corsairs are some of the most expensive units ever. Okay, the uh, glue did break. He's in the desert now he did end up making it in, into the town as well that's good he is blue however so there's gonna be a double turn from DJ coming in soon um, biggest problem for glue right now is he doesn't have scouting he actually sees nothing it's not very good for him I guess his best uh, bet is gonna be to do utopias randomly his army is not amazing either I mean So I'm gonna go from Pirate Corsair in a hill for 200 gold. Yeah, but that's still 9.3k gold he's not gonna have there. <laughs> anyway, let's see if Glue finds anything this turn in the desert. Then we're gonna watch the double turn anyway for uh, DJ. He does hear Utopia, but his stats are really bad right now. I don't think he should risk this. If it's a maxi, he's not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, he doesn't risk it. He's just pushing straight to middle here. I mean, the no scouting here is gonna be bad for him. 
Like you wanna have early tempo as necro, but no scouting means zero tempo for you into desert, so I I don't know. He will pick up Midtown. It's almost guaranteed for him at this point. Finds a nice library as well. He has almost no mana left, however. And this town's far actually still. <laughs> that road though, what the fuck? Yo, look at this road. Whoa. This is horrible from every direction here. <laughs> Damn. Okay, DJ is picking up some birds. Only 29 birds though, that's not a lot. He ended up actually going for the hill fort. He upgraded the Corsairs, I guess. And now he's thinking of going for the box shield into the Manticores, I guess. Would be a decent break for him. He might actually go straight middle. Wait a minute. I think DJ... Okay. I think DJ is going straight middle here. The way he's thinking right now, I feel like this is his play. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going straight middle. There is a break there. He's probably considering it. He's no longer considering it. Really? Dread Knights? Out of all the breaks you found, Dread Knights is what you're going for? Finds an SLJ right away though, but... Why straight middle though? <laughs> Shut up. I mean, the clones will make very quick work here. I would like for him to keep the Sea Witches alive though. I don't think he will, sadly. Does he have tactics? Wait, how did those birds get there and on a way turn? Did he morale? I guess he moraled. Okay, pretty good results overall. The big stacks actually went for the ocean edge and didn't kill it in time. That's amazing for him. So he didn't lose any of the sea witches either. Good, good, good. Basically, yeah, he lost nothing in this break. Skips water. Eh, why? <laughs> Wait, you're your vashes. Why? I guess he wants to buy it, but it's a bit late for that. Question mark though. The one stack uh, Sea Witches is definitely smart here though. I like that. Helps him quite a bit. Please! Ah! Rada da rada. Da rada da rada. Why are we, why are we here? <laughs> he has no scouting or deploy yet. Ah! But then again... It's not a good thing. Still. That's a, quite a lot of them. Why does he keep DDing randomly into freaking fights? I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> That's fine, the lion shield as well. I mean, who needs scouting? Come on. Ooh, pick up the golden ball. Pick up the golden ball. Why have fun when you can just not have fun? Question mark. The mold begins. <laughs> Pick up water magic. You don't need deep. Oh my god. Are we gonna see a new Vashis without water? Is, is he that mad? Is he the maddest of the mads here? And he skipped Golden Ball. I hate you a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay, next molding adventures. Yeah, Glue's not happy. He just saw the stats now. He saw like 30 old stats on the opponent. He is not happy. Fine scouting though. Okay, so at least one is a god gamer. <laughs> I don't know if he actually reaches middle with this road, by the way. This is one of the worst roads I've ever seen. When it's golden bow, when your power stack is ranged units. Exactly. Like, come on. Come on, Kira. Do you, do you not know these things by now? Thousand rating. What is he doing? <laughs> and he missed it. Did. Wait, does he reach? He doesn't reach. And he's on zero mana. Glue. <laughs> um. Glue. 
I, I saw the suffering in his eyes there when he, he missed it. He was like, ah. Okay, um, that's minus two turns there. That's not very good. And DJ is going back for the golden bow. Okay. That's one way to pick the golden bow. Why why pick it up when you did it into it and you did the fight for it? <coughs> I mean, I mean, why, right? What is he doing? He might not make it into the town himself now. No, 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 you eh? Why are we going for a hundred genies? Question mark. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I I strongly suggest a meteor shower. Um or not? Just just no, 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 no. We cannot teleport back now. F. Okay, then I mean lose some birds, it's fine. But on a Freddy, eh. That was not worth. And he missed it this <laughs> People, you had one job! You literally had one job! Hello! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> like they're both Pepega! <laughs> Why are we here? Oh my god. How are you both this Pepega? Ah, okay. <coughs> I need tea. <laughs> this is going to be a long one. I need tea. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah, this is Pike T. <laughs> Wait, Glue doesn't have enough mana for... Uh, uh. <laughs> By the way, if both of these Nyx's morale, he might die. <laughs> if both of those Nyx's with morale, he might die. I don't know if he has a minus morale RT, but... Kira is watching this and thinking to himself, Yep, I'm gonna win this whole thing. 100%, no doubt. I can't even... <laughs> Send both Pepegas to loser bracket. They are both already <laughs> loser bracket. What do you mean? Gru can die here if uh, they morale. Yeah, as I said, if both Nixes would have morale, he didn't have enough for shield. He would have actually died, but he got lucky there. I mean, he might have simply have a. No, he didn't have a miss morale. He just got lucky. <laughs> okay, makes it back. Someone's gonna have mana at least. <laughs> When is your next uh, game in this tourney? I don't know. Probably next week. This is best of how many? Best of three. So this is the deciding game here. Last game. This is an air tome. That's nice. Then again, <laughs> he still has no power. Meanwhile, um, please tell me you can build a mage guild at least. <laughs> okay. I really hope, really, really hope he's not gonna go for any of these fights losing the entire army here. I see a nice vial there, it's kinda good. Okay, so <laughs> I mean I guess they're both gentlemen, right? They're they're like, oh you have no mana? Okay, I'll have no mana as well, it's fine. <laughs> they're nice people, what can I say? This is safe timer kick W. Yeah. Nice turn, I know. Okay, I mean, Glue's actually finding a lot of stuff now. He does have scouting too, so that's kind of amazing for him. He finds an SOJ, um, gets water as well, picks it up. He doesn't have Diplo either though, so we could have a Diplo versus no. I mean, we could have a Diplo less versus Diplo less game here. Goes for the Utopia finally. Does have the stats to do it now, so that's okay. Yeah, Auto does it easily, finds another air tome and another water tome. 10 out of 10 Utopia, he literally just picked on them. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
This is called short turn, <laughs> short turn for timer boost. You need plus 700 to understand. He actually will defend middle here with the whole army. Okay, so he's not planning to give this up, I guess. This is called value. <laughs> no ring of Sudoku, it's a big bonus for glue. Yeah. Oh my, with two air tomes, chains is double damage, right? Yeah, yeah, chain definitely deals uh, double damage there. <laughs> He's picking up meat from the... Mm. Is he pushing middle? There's no way he's pushing middle, right? Oh, he sees an air tome too, though! Oh, god gamers! The god gamers strike back! Wait, we actually might... No, I don't want to see... Come on, people. 135 final fights. What is this? Disappointing. <laughs> this is disappointing. That's what this is. F. Eventually, eventually he's going to get water when he realizes that he's not going to get deep land scouting. I actually think DJ is going to stay here. I mean, he has mana, he has spell power, he has everything, right? So, oh, Yeah, he almost definitely stays here. Yuppers. When water? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he goes first with the birds too, so he just chains once and wins, right? Right now, he's definitely favored to win here. Um, has a lot more power as well, has spells, has way better army to be honest, so... I think he's keeping water just to drive here insane. <laughs> okay, Glue sees his opponent pushing now, sees like crazy good stats there. He has to be afraid of this. Ah, no, don't build Brimstone, we don't wanna see the game ending. The game is gonna be ending, no. <laughs> My beautiful best series ever. Could have, could have ended in a 2 for 2 game, but you're both aggressive. Why are we aggressive? Violence is not the answer, people. <laughs> Run away, it's better. <laughs> That's some timer, I guess, to think here. Hey, Rocky. Oblivion ring, there is the way. Uh, what is he doing? I mean, he could go for the Utopias he has on this side. I think that's his plan, actually. Yeah, he's going for the top, I believe. No. Um, he's a crown as well. Mm, he's an SOJ too. Wait, he might reach this. I mean, if he gets the stat advantage here. Ooh. Kaira says OJ, wait, now he's the winner. Mm, but I can't pick it up because it's on magics. Ah, that kind of sucks for him, actually. Does he ever go for this? He does. Okay. I mean, I guess it's quite a lot less than I expected here. Really? Like 24 of them? Didn't expect this few, to be honest. Um, he has prayer too, so he can just do it. I mean, it loses a couple of amps, but I guess it's fine. The SOJ here is definitely worth, right? So. Pum, pum, then defend, Q enter. But yeah, he definitely defends. He definitely defends, and I feel like DJ is gonna attack. He has no scouting, he has no Diplo, right? Problem is, Glue doesn't go first. Glue doesn't actually go first. But he does have more power, more power right now than his opponent does. He could call them both for zero range, didn't it? <laughs> nice. Ooh, Oasis. Doesn't have the timer to abuse this Oasis, sadly, but Oasis. What are we doing? 
Mana is the same, but his spell power is a lot less. That's 28 to 33, 34, whatever it was. Not the biggest fan there. He gets offense, so there is no... I would have liked him to pick up both of those, by the way. I'm not sure why he didn't. This is the army. I mean, I don't like this too much. He attacks into higher stats here. Mm, but he attacks. I mean, he has no scouting or no deeplo, right? I think that's actually probably one of his best options to attack here. I don't know though. The question is, does he protect? I actually think it is the best cast here for sure. Chains do no damage. Who doesn't have an error, right? Uh, neither of them do have an error, I think, yeah. I mean, he has Golden Bow. There's no point to... I don't think he should ever chain here. He doesn't have gold... He has Golden Bow, right? So he just smacks. DJ, come on, you have Golden Bow, man. It's it's so easy, just think. Chain is like the worst cast for him right now. He has the army to win this in the like longer fight, right? But Chain is one of the worst casts here. And glue stream is delayed again. Rip. Prayer is actually scary from glue. Why? I mean he can just block the gate and only the whites and the vampires can come out. Yep, Protair comes out. Okay, I like that. That's good. Then he just blocks the gate, I suppose, and he's doing a lot better already. I don't think he should move forward. He needs to realize that an expert prayer could come out here and it's the best cast for glue, right? So. Glue rage quit? <laughs> and I think he's fine. He's still there. 30 power versus 35 though. Hmm. I don't think Lou has any other spells but uh, water and air though. This is win for glue. Um, I don't know. Honestly, don't know. The thing is, glue has no spells here. Like, what's he gonna do? Expert prayer? For what? 87 whites? They're gonna die to the Corsairs hit here. What does glue's power mean without chain? It means more summons coming out, and since there is no error, that also means that the summons will survive one chain lightning, so... Um, it's a little better, right? He summons 20 more, and he also does more damage to um, DJ summons. He might be able to one-tap DJ summons, while DJ won't be able to one-tap his. That's the difference here. So we could actually see potentially a fight one on that, but I don't know. Let's see what Glue's thinking of. Think of chaining, but that's not good. Does no damage. Plus the Corsairs come out. He can't even clone the Corsairs, that's the problem. I also don't like that uh, DJ... Oh, it's advanced prayer! Oh, he had the same reaction I did! <laughs> It's advanced prayer. He doesn't get to pray at everything. Oh, that sucks for him. If he had expert prayer, I think I think he would have won here, to be honest, because he goes first next turn. He maybe kills all the Corsairs with, like, double hit from Vamps plus Whites, right? But he doesn't... Oh, no, dude. He doesn't have expert prayer, so that prayer does nothing for him. And then he has no spells other than chain. If he summons, he gets chain smacked every turn and he loses all the units. Uh, if he had expert prayer, he had a very good chance of winning, but... Expert stone skin, though. Yikes. Let's go air shield. I mean, air shield is generally a good cast right now, but he gets chain next turn, so you have to remember that. Right now it's either Protair or nothing really. 
There's no way he's single target dispels, right? It's not happening. Like, that's one of the worst things you could possibly do here. Learn how to fight 136 and not 242. No, the 242 fights are a lot more fun. <laughs> Glue the advanced Aquaman. <laughs> Still prayer the vamps. Uh, the vamps alone don't do anything. They're gonna hit the Corsairs. They kill like 20 Corsairs. Then the Sea Witch hit comes in. The Corsair hit comes in. By the way. He can hit with no retail on the vamps. And all the vamps die. So I think going forward. The vamps here is a huge mistake. But then again. He doesn't know if his opponent has a golden bow or not. And since there is a golden bow on the side of DJ. I think. It doesn't really matter what he does right now. Do I think has water because it's a uh, fucking Eov? Hmm? Oh, he thinks DJ has water. I mean, that doesn't matter, really. The only the only cast that matters here is the clone cast, which he can cast on the Corsairs anyway with no water whatsoever, right? So Thinks about the 50-50. If no Golden Bow, he waits. If yes, he should go in. Um, That's true, yeah. But I will say this. He has... No might stats, right? He has 14 attack. Also, he has no offense, I think. So if he goes in, eh, the vamps are not going to do much. How many... Wait, how much damage was he doing on the acid? Because it's the same defense around that. TP scale is more 300. Okay, so he kills 10 Corsairs. That's nothing. He kills like 15 Corsairs at best here if he high rolls. That's really bad for him. I don't think he should go in. Actually, the TP Skellies here might make a lot more sense, to be honest. DJ has armor and basic offense. Yeah, DJ has expert armor and basic offense. So in the might versus might here, he wins every time. Plus, the Corsairs don't suffer from retaliation, so they can just smack the vampires or whatever ports in, really. With no problems whatsoever. Mad calculus on DJs on the glue space, yeah. Um, hmm. Honestly, I don't know. Close fight still. Like I'm thinking, glue does have more uh, more spell power here, right? He also has more mana. Summons could technically win for him. At the end of the day, still. Verksai is getting two spell power from from Brimstone. You build that in the town. Inferno building, yeah. Works the same as the fortress fortifications, basically. I think almost every town has something similar to that. Never seen that shit in my life. I've built it many times. Like, Castle has the tavern, which gives you plus two morale or something. Then Inferno has... Okay, heals 100 skellies. Yeah, he sees the golden bow now. That's also a lot of the skeletons dying. Uh, very good. He didn't cast here though. I wonder what he's planning here. Okay, that's... I mean, the entire skeleton stack is basically dead. <laughs> Expert prayers now. Um, he made a mistake, I think. He can block his Corsairs. No, glue. He made a mistake. He shouldn't have prayer then. He should have prayed on the vamp turn. So he can actually go in and hit. Now he basically hits nothing. He can block the Corsairs with these two stacks. Yeah, these two stacks. But I guess he hits the birds. Still good. Who's winning? I think DJ is winning. Oh wait, I'm a doubter. <laughs> People clap. <laughs> yeah, I think DJ is kind of winning right now. I mean, he has the better army set up here for sure. He can chain next turn as well. Blue has to protear and then what do you do? He said he's coming for me, Monkans. Oh, he's coming for you. <laughs> Honestly, DJ this series was impressive. I think he played amazingly well. I really like the way he did fights, to be honest. He did fight super well here. Who's going forward, but... He doesn't even win the might fight here, I think. Especially because he lost the skellies. 
He kills the birds, which is good, but the Corsairs are basically immortal behind them. Also remember, DJ picked up Meteor Shower from a shrine. He actually picked up Meteor Shower from a shrine. That is insanely important in this fight, because one Meteor Shower on the Whites kills all of them. Same for the Vamps. While uh, Glue doesn't have Meteor or Pro Turf, I think. Actually, he might have Pro Turf from the box in the bunker. Who's the highest ranked dual player? I am. He's determined? He is. <clears throat> he never picks up that box? Okay, he doesn't have it. <laughs> Yeah, now he sees the damage on the Corsairs and he realizes just how little he does here. I don't know. He kills up to 20 at best. Honestly, it does more damage than I expected. I guess back... Yeah, that's because of Freyring, I suppose. Adds a bit of attack there. But I mean, he kills 20 Corsairs, then he gets... He dies. <laughs> he basically dies next turn. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, the double clone might come. Yeah, whatever is up here is gonna just get melt. Whatever is gonna be here is just gonna die. Mm, okay, wait, 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 wait. That's a, that's a nice damage ice ball, though. Ah, uh, but I, I just realized something. DJ can summon and Protair again now. Wait a minute. No, if you ice... No, 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 no. He needs to keep a chain. Um, If DJ summons, he, he just loses instantly, right? Because 120 summons, whatever they're going to hit, just dies. And then he can protear them as well. I'm not a big fan of wasting a cast here. I guess he could try to hypnotize the acids that go first as well. That would be something. Mm. Rip, Kira versus Glue, Grand Final Dream. I mean, I already had my game with Glue. I'm hoping I see Gong. No, I'm hoping I see Dulfi there because he's on my predictions. I need to win the predictions. <laughs> um, by the way, the wall did open. That's kind of important. Now, basically, the skellies and the zombies can come out, but he already lost most of the skellies anyway, so it's kind of whatever. Hypno and leave. Um, Hypnotize, I think, is a really bad cast here. Either, like, either we see a chain lightning come in from DJ, which kills all the vamps instantly, so that's horrible, and it kills all these, like, stacks here, also horrible, or it, he just summons and just smacks something. I'm not a big fan of that. He stays there too. Okay, so a summon is going to come in most likely. Um, I think you'll meet your showering. I'm not a big fan of that meteor shower. I mean, summons do way more here. Summons will do way more here. And I actually think he still goes next turn too. I mean, if he summons anywhere here, not there, he wins the game. Because summons hit vamps plus corsairs, kills the vamps, and then there's, there's nothing. <laughs> there's some whites, but that's it. And yeah, okay, the summons go into a good place. He should have taken a retail with that. Take a retail so we don't get smacked. He even has the Afreris actually. Yeah, I don't know. Basically kills all the vamps now. And the summons are still alive and well. He's gonna lose the Sea Witches to the Wraiths though, which kind of suck, but... Okay, yeah, that's six vamps left. Could have been you on Glue's position. Could have been. But it isn't. <laughs> um, hmm. 
I mean, he will get to go first next turn, so he gets to chain the summons at least. But that's bad. No, that's horrible. Basically, now DJ has to summon every turn. Uh, no, yeah, DJ has to summon every turn. Glue has to chain every turn, but he's not prepared. The and DJ is. So I think, regardless, no matter what he does, DJ should win now. Because the chains are just gonna destroy glue. These stacks are all super squishy and low. Like these will just die to random chain bounces. The vamps are almost dead, and then, yeah, what else is there really? The 80 whites as well are gonna get smacked by the new summon coming in, and most of them will die. I mean, it was killing up to 22 vamps, right? So that's like 900 damage, which is at least 50 race. His frost ring might hurt. <laughs> Frost ring. <laughs> really? I I kind of want to see one, but like, let's be serious here, people. Frost ring of oblivion, yeah. <laughs> Once you cast it, you GG out with it. So Hypno was a bad cast. Yeah. As I said, I think he needed to keep a cast there. Because as soon as the summon comes out, you need to chain it. If you miss a turn and the summons just keep coming out, you're always going to be one turn behind. You cannot chain as they come anymore. And then you're just kind of dead. Because those, those summons will get a hit in every single turn. And on top of the fact that they get a hit in, you also get chained by the bounces, right? Too, so. It's a completely respectable cast, Mr. Streamer. Nobody expects it. Yes, it will it will it will be so unexpected that it will give Glue a heart attack and then DJ just wins by murdering his opponent. <laughs> That's the only hope he has with a frost ring cast. <laughs> Wait no, it's glue actually, the other way around, whatever. Glue will give DJ a heart attack. How much is his lightning bolt on the summon? Uh not enough. Lightning bolt only works if you have an error, which it doesn't. He probably barely one taps it with the chain, if he even one taps it, to be honest. I mean, it's 35 power times 50, right? 40? Not sure. Does he want to hypnotize everything? <laughs> DJ will choke from laughter, yeah. Ah, what a series though. I honestly expected Blue to have a much better chance here, but I didn't actually realize that he doesn't have expert water. I knew that he has water, Tom. I knew that he has water, but that one fight that he skipped somewhere in the map actually lost him the game here, I think. Because if he was able to expert prayer here, everything comes out. He has a much, much better chance, especially if he hits the Corsairs from the beginning, right? It was going to look very different. He goes first next turn, he protears or something and yeah. Way better than he can just chain on the rest of the army and he might win on HP or summons himself. But at this point it's looking pretty grim here. I mean if he summons he just gets smacked so. I'm not sure if he has a play anymore. Also he kills... Oh, he doesn't even one-tap them, by the way, because of Ring of Life. <laughs> he kills exactly 120 with the chain, because 3k damage doubled, right? But the summons actually have 120 more HP, so there's like 6 of them uh, surviving there every time. That's kind of annoying, actually, too. Could win the game for DJ as well. But as I said, at this point, he gets smacked by the chains a lot more than DJ does, so... I don't know. Uh, you live after the game? Um, most likely, yes. I don't think I'll play another game today. He lost because no what does. Pretty much. As I said, I don't know if he was going to win or not, but the fight here was going to be way closer. It was going to be way, way closer. This 100 plus uh, N times 40, so spell power times 40, yeah. I 
I don't know what he's calculating though. I mean, he's trying to take the 50 50 between the Freddy's and the Vamp, maybe. I don't know. Either way, I think the Vamps die to the chain, so. Uh, could Glue win with Mana Pool? Not really, no. Because he would have to summon this turn, basically. And in that case, I think DJ wins every time just because the summon stack he has already out would easily kill everything left here. Like the 120 elementals that DJ has, plus one chain lightning would easily kill uh, Glue's summons. He does summon though. I'm not sure I like that too much though. Protair now and summon next. He cannot Protair. I don't know. As I said, I, I don't think he wins this anymore. But yeah, okay. So a chain immediately comes out. Um. By the way, I think he has plus one speed on the airs even, right? So he reaches the race there. Yeah, he does because he moves first. That's so big. The fact that he has plus one speed means he even goes first now. He needs to kill the aces though, so he gets speed priority. That's quite annoying for him to deal with. Now, I think DJ wins every every time in two turns here. If he plays this well, he wins every single time in two turns here. He even got Swift Neck for a chest, yep. Yeah. As I said, he has plus one speed as well, so his summons would even go first, even if like everything dies, the summon here could still chain the beginning. Um, I don't know. I think this is probably over for Gru. DJ had a little bit too much here. And by the way, the birds being hypnotized don't even block the Corsairs. <laughs> it's literally whatever to have them there. I mean, he does get to go first, but I don't really see what he does. If he summons again, then he insta loses, right? Because the summons get chained and then everything else dies in this side anyway to the chain. And whatever is here is going to be able to kill the 36. Easily even. And I don't think there's really any other place here other than trying to run opponent out of mana. He could maybe try to mm, prot air into more summons and then he returns with the zombies. Tries to get some lucky hits in. But even then I feel like the Corsairs plus the Sea Witches will just kill the Skellies and the zombies. And then the airs coming out die to chain anyway even with prot air, so... And there's still 12 Freddy's, there's still 120 air elementals for DJ, so unlikely. Unlikely. Not sure if that prayer and hypno are correct casts there from glue. Honestly, I think that the pro tear first turn would have been better for him. To be honest there, but as GG, no expert water lost him the game. Yeah, the fact that he didn't have expert water obviously was quite horrible for him. That really did matter a lot. And there is no draws. Yeah, I think actually being a tournament game, there is no draws here. Slalia just subscribed. Uh, Slalia, thanks so much for the sub. Much appreciated. Welcome. Is it still going? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Summon Wars. <laughs> Don't you know by now the Summon Wars? <laughs> uh... Maybe he has it? No. Uh, has what?
Is there minus luck here? Was it berserk on the birds? No, the birds are uh, hypnotized here. Best of three? Yes. This is indeed a best of three, so this is the final fight of the series, I guess. Win glue, I don't know. I sadly don't think glue has another chance here. DJ has a bit too much. I think no matter what he does now, DJ should win in two turns, regardless. Like, Lou either prots air, and then DJ just uh, kills everything with the army he has, or Glue summons, and then DJ is chaining twice, and I think it's over. He said that one turn ago. Yes, as in this turn and the next one. Two chains come out, should kill the skelly zombies with the bounces, and then the summons die to the big stack there. At least I think that should be the case. And he's kind of mad because he got the summon in the worst spot there. Now he's basically gonna get everything chained. Then if is hit here and yeah. Not very good. Those bears being alive are very annoying though. Anyway, this is what I meant, right? Like, Glue's losing more and more army every turn. <coughs> Basically, the Skelly's died, the Summon stack is almost dead as well, and now the Zombies are probably gonna die to their Freddy's plus Corsairs, so... Even if he summons again, it's technically kind of over. I'll be honest, those three birds could make a difference here, but I, I don't know. Let's see. I actually wonder if they can miss morale, because it's Necro army, right? Wait, the birds can miss morale. That's actually interesting. Just realized that. <coughs> Corsairs, Corsairs still have to hit the longer they have Freddy's. I'm pretty sure the zombie stack is dead now. Um, thinking of taking a hit, I mean, the air summons die anyway to chains, right? So. Hmm. Wait, the birds don't have miss morals, really? How? Does he have plus morale artists or something? I mean, he has necro army plus uh, imps in his army, so even... He's on like minus one at the very least, I think. Just in time to see the final result. Hey, Jaya. But yeah, this is the final fight through here. Zombies are very dead. I do think DJ is somewhat making a misplay right now by having the air elemental standing back. He needs to push them forward. He needs to take the hit there. That's his only win con. Basically this going forward. What? What are you doing? Here. What is he doing? <laughs> I mean... Glue has to summon or he dies, right? That's clear. Summons down below, which means the 36 stack is gonna be alive for a little short while here. That's good. Um, seven more chains. Yeah, but he has less and less army every time, that's the thing. But DJ needs to realize that he needs to go forward. I don't know why he's standing back there. It's it's the worst play that he could do. Like, these two stacks go forward, kill the 36 stack after a chain. GG, boom, done. It's that easy. Not sure what he's doing right now. Assuming it chains again, right? Um, I mean, the Corsairs get hit by a third bounce for like 50 damage. Whatever, just chain. And then the Catapult gets hit once too. It's not even the other stacks. You can kill up to 20 with that. 
By the way, it's better to get chained by a bounce here instead of getting hit by the 10 air elementals anyway, probably. <laughs> I think it's more damage if he hits with the 10 air elementals. If he doesn't chain, then Glupro tears and wins, yeah. Pretty much. He doesn't have any shots left. What is he doing? I mean, he can Meteor Shower the bird, so he gets Insta Speed Advantage, but it's not great. It's not the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, I feel like he needs to Meteor Shower that bird. If like if there's any other play other than going forward and smacking the summons here, he needs to Meteor Shower the bird then. Um, he also needs to go forward with the Corsairs now too. And put their elementals behind the... Uh, Efreris and the Corsairs since they're not protared. If he Meteors, then he loses a cast. Yes, but he goes first next turn, which means that he... Uh, he can chain at the beginning of the turn every time with the Freddy's. And that's kind of big for him. So even though he loses a cast, it doesn't really matter. Because he just chains the 126, then Glue has to summon, then he does it again and just goes forward with all the units, gets a double hit with weight, wins the game. That's what he should have done two turns ago though. I don't know what he's doing. Can he hypno the Freddy's then? Um, aren't the Freddy's immune to hypnotize anyway? It's mind immunity, right? Or is it only fire? I'm not sure. Also, no, he can't because it's uh, 900 hypno, I think, and the Freddy's are like 1k HP. 1.1k HP almost with the ring. Don't the birds die next turn from retail if he hits again, but Glue can just defend. Like, he doesn't need to kill the birds. Seven hundred twenty HP. No, it's ninety HP per Freddy. What do you mean? It's twelve as well. Sixty? No, never. What is he doing? No, 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 no! What are you doing? You can. He kills the bird. Wait, that's actually. Hmm. Okay, never mind. He actually killed the bird in the best way possible there. Good job, DJ. <laughs> that was a 200 IQ player. Damn. And now he goes forward. All right. It's kind of over then. What a snipe, Pog. I don't think he should have gone forward now, but... <laughs> he made the 200 IQ play. Let's give it to him, right? I mean, just go for yeah, just go there exactly. You put the air elemental there, hits here, and the Fred is here, and then you chain here, bounce, 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 bounce. He doesn't kill any of these really. No, 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 here. Why there? Uh, whatever. It's enough. It's enough, I think. Okay, it's enough anyway. Sure. Good job, uh, DJ. I actually took the series three, uh, two, two, one. Nice. Poggers. What was that sound? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what did we say talking about in Romanian? That was not Romanian. <laughs> I'm inventing a new language, alright? Ah, uh, oh well. GG's uh, DJ. Well played, very well played. Pretty good final fight as well. Should have kept them alive. Why did Glue keep bleeding the birds? I don't know. He wanted to kill some army with them, I guess. Kirahanian <laughs> Kirahanian Kirahanian <laughs> language easy. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, DJ is offline. Glue is not very happy. <laughs> I mean, honestly, well played from both of them. Glue did his best here. DJ did find everything he possibly needed without scouting, though, right? He had an air tome, he had stats. 
He had the perfect skill tree. Pretty lucky game from him overall. But yeah, well played. Nice final fight as well. Nice series overall. Very close games. Happy to have casted this.